did Game of Thrones just reveal the whereabouts of Robert Baratheon's Warhammer? Oh yeah, by the way, spoiler warning for everything in the books and everything up until episode 5, season 7. We meet Gendry in season 1. At the time, he worked um, at this guild, which actually ended up being the guild that reforged Ned's, um, Ned Stark's Valyrian steel sword Ice into two swords um, for the Lannisters, one for Joffrey and one for Jaime. Um, so it's this pretty, um, it's definitely the top forgery in Westeros that's able to actually rework Valyrian steel. Prior to that, it was uncovered that Gendry was Robert Baratheon's illegitimate son, um, one of them, and at the time the Lannisters were out killing all of Robert Baratheon's bastards who might challenge um, Joffrey's legitimacy for the throne at some point. And so when it was uncovered that he was one of these sons, um, Ned helped him escape along his journey. He ended up with Arya for part of the time. And at some point, Melisandre was doing some blood magic on him and sucking the king's blood out of him with leeches, which she used for some spell. We thought maybe she was going to kill him at some point. Um, then he just basically disappeared for a while. And we've kind of been wondering where he was until we get to Season 7, Episode 5. Davos and Tyrion are going to King's Landing to try to set up a meeting with the two queens. And... Um, while Tyrion goes to meet Jaime, Davos says he has some other business to attend in Flea Bottom, and next thing you know, he is standing in a forge with Gendry, who has clearly been living there in King's Landing under the nose of all his enemies, and he's been doing fine. And um, Davos brings up the prospect that they might need to leave, and Gendry is ready to go. Davos tells him that he should probably bring a sword with him um, because what they're about to go up against is pretty crazy, but he says he doesn't know much about swinging swords and he much prefers using this, and he pulls the hammer. And of course we know he can hammer because he forges swords and that's the action that he does, but right when we get the glimpse of him grabbing this hammer, um, we're wondering, you know, what's going on here because we know that Robert Baratheon who was his father who had taken over the seven kingdoms from Aerys Targaryen the Mad King um, he wielded this m great epic legendary warhammer that he used to crush through many other great warriors including Rhaegar Targaryen himself and we don't know the whereabouts of this warhammer but um, right off the bat, I'm thinking maybe this is it. Maybe Gendry's got it. In the next scene, when Davos and Gendry are going back to the boat, they get stopped by some soldiers, and Davos mostly talks his way out of it until Tyrion shows up. And then um, once they kind of find themselves in a very difficult situation, Gendry out of nowhere just pulls the hammer and very quickly shows that he knows how to use it by making quick work of those two soldiers. Um, during one of these scenes when we see the hammer sitting there, you can actually see that there is a stag on the hammer, which is the Baratheon sigil. So I'm left here thinking, you know, he might have Robert's Warhammer. He might have found it, which would be pretty epic. It's also possible that this is just a different hammer, one that he made um, as Robert's Warhammer, um, some of the illustrations and other descriptions of it don't exactly line up with what we see here, but who knows, it's a possibility. So in terms of me seeing this, I'm definitely really interested to see to what extent Gendry uses the Warhammer in battle. Is this going to be a factor in some of the wars? If this is a special hammer, um, maybe it might have special properties, might be usable um, in some of these wars that are magical in nature and even if he doesn't use the that warhammer as a weapon you wonder um, what importance his hammering of steel might play when you consider that he worked for the only forge um, in Westeros that still knew how to work and rework Valyrian steel um, and with Sam you know now having all these scrolls from the Citadel and Jon Snow getting access to all this dragon glass uh, we might wonder if maybe they're going to um, forge up some things that haven't been forged in a while and what hand 
Gendry might play in that aspect of the upcoming War for the Dawn. So those are my thoughts on um, this Warhammer, and I'm definitely really excited to see where things go with it. So I'm wondering what you think. Do you think this is Robert's hammer or not? Um, do you think he just maybe made or acquired another hammer? Do you think he's going to use it in the battle? And do you think um, his skills with Valyrian Steel might play another role in this battle? Do you have any other comments or ideas or related thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining us again, and we look forward to continuing the Game of Thrones discussion soon.